Okay, so I'm going to be playing Maya Quest, which is a game that um, Mech released in 1995. Not to really any success, because I don't think anyone remembers it. It's pretty much impossible to win unless everything goes perfectly. Um, because if you crash your bike at any point trying to get far enough away, you can't actually finish in time for the game to uh, work. The Earth is protected from meteors and other cosmic debris by a vast network of orbiting satellites and lasers. This is just beautifully terrible. Crew aboard Skybase 1 vigilantly scan the depths of space. The defense network is controlled and administered by Dr. Howard, a passionate student of Maya archaeology, who is, this is the Sinai Peninsula in Central America. As Dr. Halley's space shuttle approaches, Skybase 1 transmits a message. This is Skybase 1 to approaching shuttlecraft. Please identify yourself, over. Earth Shuttle 6 here, requesting clearance to dock. We have Dr. Halley on board with the new laser firing codes. You've arrived just in time. The previous firing codes have almost expired. Captain, this is Dr. Halley. I hope that you'll take care to study these codes. I have based them all on Maya archaeology. I love how six transmitting code over. I love how just blatantly ridiculous this is. A small meteor has strayed into the flight path of the shuttlecraft, putting it in the direct line fire of one of the automated laser cannons. The shuttlecraft's radio transmitter has been damaged. Only a portion of the new codes were successfully transmitted. Oh no! Welcome to Maya Quest headquarters. It's time to prepare for your adventure. Hi, I'm Dan Butner. As on my expedition, people will see electron commands. That's what they show you for the um, regular adventure thing. The meteor whatever. defense system is experiencing a crisis. A meteor shower is heading towards Earth. We need you to find information that will help us reconstruct the code. For now, take your bike helmet and await further instruction. <laughs> You have a new message. I love how this setup is just so blatantly ridiculous. They don't even bother trying to explain anything, really. Some glyphs at Palenque. That's somewhat far you have away. A new message. The gods that were the protectors. You have a new message. You have a new message. How many gods are shown on the glyphs on a stair at the palace? Now who knows if I'm even going to make it there, so we'll see. The bike rides in this game are such a joy. It's pretty much impossible to get them right. You see, we're in Cancun here. Palenque is all the way down here. It's not as bad as going from like... Zibid Chaltun to Copan, which is in Honduras actually, but it's still gonna take some doing. I have my doubts I'll get there unscathed. But let's go! Am I moving? I can't actually tell. Hmm. 
Oh no, there's a pothole. Am I gonna run over this bunny? I don't think I ran it over. Hmm. You know, remembering the controls might help me here. This is pretty much how all the bike rides go. They're all... Oh, I guess it moved again. As you can probably see, I'm using Windows Cement as my emulator, which is kind of a silly joke, but it's a decent enough emulator for DOSBox, so I'll take it. I think there's a arbitrary time limit given to how long you have to save the earth from these meteors. There's no real logic to anything in this game. Although the images of the uh, different Mayan ruins are very pretty. Very, very pretty. Also I love how you just bike through multiple countries and never have any issues with, like, visas, or passports. Hell, it's the near future. Maybe they don't have trouble with that anymore. One thing that's kind of irksome about this game is you have a choice. You can set the bike to autopilot, in which case you'll never get anywhere on time, or you can desperately try to avoid all the pitfalls. No costly repairs, it took me 95 hours. Our remaining time is too short. The team here will try to break the rest of the code. Thanks for your efforts. Wow. Truly amazing. I didn't even make it to the point where I tried to save the Earth. You have a new message. Oh my god. Copan, really? You have I, a new message. I adore Copan. It's a beautiful sight, but there's no way I'm going to get there on time. You have a new message. You have a new message. Okay, Alter G1 Copan. Let's see if my newfound knowledge of how to use the bike will help me actually get there in less than like nine days. This is pretty much the worst bike path in this game. It's all like back roads, which I guess is supposed to be realistic, but given that this is the only way to play this game without, like, losing, it's kind of ridiculous. Although it's kind of pretty, right? Oops. Sorry, me.
I'm gonna go with San Esteban. That seems like better. Okay, so I think if I move the mouse up the screen, I can accelerate. But there's no telling if I'll be able to decelerate in time not to hit, like, potholes or logs or myself. Who really knows with this game? This mechanic is kind of a clusterfuck, and it's a good part of why I don't think it was very successful. Ooh! Ooh! Nice! Hmm. I'll walk to the nearest settlement. Let's hope I have enough money to pay for that. I don't think I'm actually going to make it to Copan, so... Who really cares? I mean, I've passed a bunch of markers, but... I don't really have any idea if that means I'm going to make it within the arbitrary time limit. Oh, I had another accident. Let's walk the rest of the way. And I think it's too late. It's too late. Our remaining time is too short. Oh, the team well. here will try to break the rest of the code. Sorry, Thanks Earth. For your Unfortunately, um... Your survival depended upon something from Copan, so message. you were screwed from the get-go. You have a new message. You have a new message. The Earthly Realm at Uxmal. I believe that's the nunnery quadrangle, so let's go see. Uxmal is much more reachable than Palenque or Copan, so... Let's see if I can get there within, like, nine days. Oh yay, an actual paved road. Maybe this means I'm not gonna die this time. This spiking sequence is actually halfway decent. I'm getting the feeling I might not die in the process, and that failure is not guaranteed. Although, you never really know with this game. I just know that if the game ever asks me to go under some sort of temple, it's just like instant failure, because there is not really any consistent way to get through the tunnel in a short enough period of time to find what you're looking for. And also you have to get back out. That's also a really shitty part to do. Once I fail this mission, I think I'm gonna try the exploring version, which is what the video at the beginning is about. Um, ooh, these seem to be the final markers. Yes. Oops, small. We're here. Yeah, it only took me two days. You have a new message. How many doorways are there on the western building of the Nunnery Quadrangle? Well, let's just go there. And I believe this. Oh, okay, that is not what I'm supposed to do. Uh, here we go. This is the info. This building is the northern building of the Nunnery Quadrangle. This is actually really interesting stuff, but uh, we're going to go to the western building. This building is the western building of the Nunnery Quadrangle. 
message received. You have a new message. Yay! A building with an unusual stairway. You have a new message. Oh, of course. Now we're on our way to Chichen Itza. Uh, entrance, exit. Anyway, as I was saying, um, once I fail this mission, which is likely since Palenque or Copan are like some of the more visited sites in this game, um, I'll use the explore option just to go to Copan because it's so pretty. Um, there's so many beautiful Stella involved, and I don't know. I've never seen any Let's Plays of this game before. Um, I wasn't able to find any, and I was barely able to find any information about it on the internet, which is a shame, because I really think it is a good doc documentation of these various sites. Chichen Itza is probably one of the most famous Maya sites, and I think this might actually be referring to El Castillo, in which case. I'm not sure why they had to phrase it so obliquely. Like, I'm pretty sure lots of people know that there's a snake at the equinox on El Castillo, but who knows. There's a great deal of arbitrary hardness with this game. Oh yay, that only that took me less than a day. Okay. You have a new message. Oh, it's El Caracol. And I guess we have nine days. Observatory is called El Caracol. It's shaped like a conch shell. Message received. You have a new message. Is this referring to Tikal? You have a new message. Oh no, of course it's Palenque. So let's be on our way. Since we've only got eight days. Palenque is a nice enough site in this game, but I don't know, something about it. I always associate it with failing the game and or getting really lost. It's kind of a complicated site. I'm pretty sure there's a lot more of it hidden in the jungle than is shown in the game. Uh, probably because they just want you to see what's easily discoverable, and uh, you can't really do that in a game from 1995, given the limitations of the time. I'm seeing less potholes in this game than I remember, and more just random shit on the side of the road. I don't have an explanation for that. Maybe I just remembered potholes because they're more interesting than randomly having branches on the side of the road. Oops! Why don't I just walk the rest of the way? Okay, five days left. 
you have a new message. Eastern group. I'm not seeing any Eastern groups. What's the final hint? You have a new message. Coronation in the plaza in front of the Temple of the Foliated Cross. Chichen Itza. I'm sure that'll work. You have a new message. If they already have all this information, why don't they just give it to you when you start? Seems like that would help with the impending doom. There are only four stages to the code, so I may actually be able to prevent the world from ending, but we'll see. That really depends on my bike riding skills, which you'd think in this near future where they have satellites to defend the Earth, they might have like a rail system or roads that you can drive on or planes um, between various Mayan sites, but I guess that wouldn't have the arbitrary hardness that this game required. And I do mean it when I say this game is arbitrarily hard. It's... There doesn't really seem to be a level of skill associated with how well you ride a virtual bike on this road that varies depending on the site you're going to that 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 really doesn't seem to be a test of your investigative abilities more of how well you move a mouse on a poorly rendered road that doesn't really seem like it's really helping anyone learn of course i i guess it didn't really help anyone learn because i don't think anyone bought the game but you never know. The clue was for a small temple. Um, they might mean a platform at Chichen Itza, um, but I'm not sure, so we'll see when we get there, which should be soon given these little raised metal bars on the side of the road. Oh, fuck. Go faster. Go faster, Vike. I want to get to the fucking s site. Okay? Just, just get there. It took me 40 hours. I think I'm gonna die. You have a new message. Lower Temple of the Jaguars. Okay, that's this place. The... You are looking at the Lower Temple of the Jaguars. This is all so ridiculous. Wow, and it all happens over El Castillo. Amazing, truly. And that was my quest. I sort of rushed through the various 
informational screens, but you can pause the video to see what was there. Explore the Maya ruins. Experience the mysteries of this ancient civilization. Share your discoveries and take the bicycle trip of a lifetime. Welcome to Maya Quest headquarters. It's time to prepare for your adventure. Hi, I'm Dan Butner. As on my expedition, people will send you electronic mail messages to ask for information. Try to answer as many of these questions as you can before the rainy season begins in 30 days. Before you go, you will get a high-tech helmet that lets you communicate with remote locations, helps you move around the sites, and gives you information about ancient structures and artifacts. This powerful helmet includes the following standard equipment, an analyzer tool that gives you information about artifacts and structures, a camera, a set of maps you can use to move around the sites, an email system, a compass, and a tool which keeps track of time and the money you have earned. Good luck, and as always, pedals up. God, this is... I've never... I barely remember that pedals up thing, but it just sounds like such a 90s thing to you say. You a new message. <clears throat> I don't really want something in T-Call. You have a new message. You have a new message. You have a new message. Oh yes. Popolna. <clears throat> Perfect. I don't know why they decided arbitrarily that you had to, like, start your bicycling tour 30 days before the rainy season like couldn't you time it better whatever trying to apply logic to this game is like trying to win this game you're not really gonna get good results unless you just stop thinking about it Oh hey, one of those posts. I don't actually know what they mean. They might be like a mile marker? Or maybe it's like there's a certain number of them before the place. Maybe I- oh hey, I tripped! Rest a while, then continue. Stop turning that way! God damn it, me biker, you're so incompetent. Why did you never learn to ride a fucking bicycle? Wee. God damn it, again? Turn. Thank you. Oh, again? Let's walk the rest of the way. It took ten days. But I'm now at Copan, which is really stunningly beautiful. Let's see where I am. And what is it I need to do? I need to find Popolna. This structure is the Jaguar Stair. Evidence of a noble. Let's look behind me. is in Temple 22. This doorway is in Temple 22. You 
you are looking at the Copan River Valley. This building is the Popolna, which is a council house. Transmission not accepted. What do we need? A photo that shows evidence of a noble. Transmission not accepted. You are looking at two carved masks on Temple 22. Hmm. This building is the Popolna, which is a council house. This building is the Popolna, which is a council house. This building is the Popolna, which is a council house. are called mat signs. This hieroglyph is a lineage glyph. I think this is what they're looking for. Transmission accepted. You have a new message. I made nine hundred dollars. What the fuck? You have a new message. Oh yeah, I don't have to leave. Let's go to the hieroglyphic stair. This is above the hieroglyphic stair. I don't think that covering is there anymore. Um, although it does look kind of nice, I have to admit. So... There's the hieroglyphic stair from another perspective. There's a Stella under it. Uh, let's see. This stairway is called the hieroglyphic stair. Transmission not accepted. Transmission denied. Hmm. Can I zoom in? This monument is Stella M. Not really seeing anything that helps. There isn't really a temple here per se. Is there anything I can zoom in on? This monument is Stella M. Yeah, I got that. I think I'm just gonna go. Wait, no. I should try this. This is the temple of the hieroglyphic stair. Transmission correct. You have a new message. You have a new message. Oh, fuck that. You have a new message. Now this I'll do. You have a new message. Stella one in the Great Plaza. Yeah, this is the Great Plaza and it really is great. I mean look at all these. This is so fucking beautiful. Let's go closer. This monument is Stella B. I mean, that is just so fucking beautiful. God. Huh. This monument is Stella Four. Oh. There's a museum in San Diego that actually has um, a Stella. It's not from Copan, but it's rather large. Um, and it's a replica. This monument is Stella A. 
18 rabbit. Is there anything I can zoom in on here? No? Okay. No, sorry. That's not what I'm looking for. This monument is Stella B. Turtle Altar and Stella C. I like that a bunch of these Stella are all just of the same person. This monument is Stella D. That's nice. So we get to see the remnants of Copan's civilization because they used an erosion proof rock. Here is the back of Stella F. Hmm. Stella F. <clears throat> I'm not sure fasting while making art was really the best long-term decision. G1, G2, and G3. Just sort of reminds me of breatharianism, you know? Not really good for you in the long term. <laughs> this monument is Stella H. <clears throat> shows the headdress on Stella H. That's interesting. Ooh, what's this? This monument is Stella I. Oh, it's I and not one. That's interesting. is Stella I. <clears throat> Transmission accepted. You have a new message. Hmm. Yaks pass. Actually, I'm not gonna ask for this one. I'm just gonna, um, look it up on my phone because I can do that. And let me pause the game, actually. I believe that pauses the game. Uh, let's see. Yucks. Pass. Copan. Hmm. I think I will ask, actually. You have a new message. I don't actually remember where Alter Q is, so, uh, I'll have to find that now. I think it's probably in this plaza, since pretty much everything is in this plaza. Oh, 